Hello guys, this is the guy who thinks he is a geek and what we are actually going to show you today is how to extend your Wi-Fi network coverage and how to do this without any additional wiring and it's just really simple and it doesn't take much time and so we actually got this thing from Apple um, just like a week ago and stuff this is a gigabit Wi-Fi router and I really like it so well I thought um, actually in one of the bedrooms uh, I don't have enough coverage of this uh, knowing the bedrooms in my office so what I've decided is to uh, basically extend it and to do it wirelessly so this device which is Airport Extreme um, which supports AC the gigabit one um, will be my main Wi-Fi device which would be um, next to my TV and be connected th through the modem to DSL line and internet and this one which only is 300 megabits per second which is more than enough would be in my office and would act as a retranslator and would be just extending my network uh, to my office and to all the devices in my office um, wirelessly which is very cool and basically the main idea is that um, this guy has like some certain coverage um, and this guy has some sort of coverage if you imagine like lines but then when they when these coverage of this device courses the coverage of this device they can set a very good connection between each other a very stable connection uh, pretty much the same as wire and um, we're just going to use this technology to do it uh, I'm telling you that this tutorial is pretty much the same for any company or any other devices that you use which support this um, I'm pretty sure that all the new Wi-Fi routers or even some old ones uh, they support it so if you just look and if you just watch this video you would know how to do it for any other company and device that you have so you can do the same thing with anything really so what we have is the Airport Extreme Gigabit one. It's very cool. I really like it. And this um, 300 megabits per second Airport Extreme. So I'm just going to show you how to connect it all together. So an important step that you need to do is basically where you set your first main router which is connected to the internet if you want to obviously connect them wirelessly without connecting another cable to here uh, if you, for some reason you can't do it and then just extend uh, your Wi-Fi coverage without the wireless method but we're going to do wireless method and basically um, what you need to make sure of is that this device which is connected to the internet would be in the good range of this device you can check this by actually like going to the utility um, airport utility if you have Apple devices or just go 192.168.1.1 which is a LAN address if you connect to if you connect your computer through Ethernet cable to your Wi-Fi router and you will be able to actually see uh, well in some routers actually in most new ones um, like in percentage how well the Wi-Fi router, if it is in retranslation mode, can actually reach this one, so it can get the eth internet and just made a very good, stable and strong link between each other. So this is the only thing you need to make sure of. Now I'm just going to show you how to do everything on the software, um, on the software like level. And so on the Mac, what you need to do um, to set up your home wireless network and and extend um, the range of the network you have to go to utilities and airport utility set up your main uh, airport Wi-Fi router that is connected to the internet uh, and then after you have like completely and finally successfully created the home wireless network and you've set up all the passwords and if you want you've set up the 5 gigahertz uh, network for 
cooler and stuff that needs basically faster internet connection and faster bandwidth we then connect to the new airport extreme which is going to act like a regional slater and connect to this network and basically just mirror it and what we need to do is on the new uh, connected airport extreme which is not set up yet uh, sorry set it up we go to change settings and here when we go to wireless network um, we basically go not to creating a wireless network but to like re retranslating wireless network and then you just have to type in the name of the wireless network that you're trying to connect to which is exactly has to be the exact name of the network um, that this router shares and then you have to type in the exact same password and if you wanted the 5 gigahertz one you have to call it the same name as on the main one on the main router and then you just click up update and it's gonna update and finally you'll see something like this where basically this is the main one and this one is um, just acts like a retranslator and extends the Wi-Fi coverage well like you don't have to worry about any like interference when you copy the files uh, in your local network because this one now actually turns off the DHCP servers so for the whole your network you will only have DHCP services from this one the main one so any devices that you connect to this one which is just the retranslator they would get the IP address from here so this one is not going to give out any like other IP addresses which is a very cool thing and personally I have this one in my office and this one um, like next to my TV basically and my phone because I have a DSL connection um, and I just connect my I mean it might sound weird but I connect my computer um, to Airport Extreme through an Ethernet cable to get a more sort of stable connection and actually I would say um, when they are sort of in range of each other the connection is very good between them and the stability is very good and I really like it so I mean it works for my house so yeah thanks for watching